Vortex here and I'm back with the a review of the DAC audio it's a USB yeah this is very basic packaging it's a DAC amp of C combo it's USB powered yeah super basic packaging with a very tight lid yeah DAC audio explain the packaging so it's 3.5 millimeter input and it's a USB 2 I think or USB 1 it doesn't need drivers it's a very very basic packaging and I bought this because personally my own laptop uh, has a faulty headphone socket it originally used to work fine and for some reason now it doesn't but there's always a little bit of like electrical noise or static because Obviously in the laptop, obviously the wire from the 3.5 headphone jack is it's going over basically all the electrical equipment and it, and it picks up that noise. Um, but if you have seen something that is through USB directly, it's way cleaner the audio. Um, I paid just over £16 for this off AliExpress and it has the ES9018. K2M which is actually a Sabre DAC so it's actually quite high quality components for such a low price and there's the SA9023A in there as well which I think is the amplifier section and for its, and for its price it works great um, let's get to the cons the negatives are okay here there is the the light so when you plug this in, it actually lights up blue through there and through the, um, see this clear transparent section on the corner? When you plug in, it goes blue. But if you try and plug it in your laptop like that, this is actually backwards. You have to plug it in upside down, which is no big deal because it glows up blue. And also, you know, to basically save your USB ports in case they, they break. If you plug that directly in, and if you get if you tug your thing, you can actually you could break the port or break this. So I recommend if you get one of these, especially for laptop users, just get a really short USB extension. So, you know, even though this is an OTG cable, but for an example, you know, it's super short. You know, that way it's a bit flexible, and you won't actually break any break any parts. So. Uh, let's get to the setup really. Plug in works, doesn't need drivers. It's a class 2 device, I think. But the only other real negative as well is there's no so there's no volume control, which is something that I'd prefer. Like the SMSL idea has a um it has digital volume control on there. So you'd set it maximum in Windows and then control it up and down on the player on the on the DAC which is what I prefer but that's like sixty pound ish this is sixteen so a lot more but I'll probably get to reviewing the SMSL idea in the future. It's a little bit more complex than this but I'll uh, I'll get to that. Uh so yeah in Windows you have to control the volume level in Windows. So by default when you plug in it's a hundred which is a lot. If you play any of your phones there, you just they'll blow up. So as a test, I've got some. I've tried it with a bunch of earphones, but for example, like my CCAC tens. These are from memory a thirty-two ohm impedance, which is kind of average, so it's not too low. And they only needed six percent volume for it to be loud. Seven percent, six or seven percent. I thought, well, okay. So and then I thought, well, what can I try for headphones? Because headphones tend to be harder to drive. Um, I have the Hi-Fi Man HE4XX, which is a planar, which they have a low impedance, but they have a higher, they have a lower sensitivity. So they're, they're kind of hard to drive. And to get my HE4XX load with this, you only needed 25 Thirty percent of Windows volume, so this little, it's a little bit the old USB amp DAC is 
he's quite powerful to be honest. I did not expect that for the price. He he could do that. And so yeah, what does this sound like? I think it sounds pretty balanced to be honest. Quite a balanced sound. Uh, the noise floor was just audible. Just about, you can hear it. If you don't know what I mean by noise floor, if you plug earphones in and in and out, you'll be able to hear it. So, for example, if you've got some earphones in, like no, nothing playing, you obviously you'll hear nothing. Then plug them in and you'll probably hear a faint, it's a faint low level noise. It's hard to explain unless you actually hear it yourself. But yet the noise floor was very low, which I was quite surprised with as well. And yeah, this is a little little beast really, which really it's it's really more designed for say laptop users users. For people of a PC, yeah you can use it, it will work, but it just depends on you know how good your onboard audio is. If it's trash, this might be a good upgrade for you. Just leave it plugged in the back of your computer. And you know, you're good to go, no drivers. It just it, it, it starts from I think sixteen bit yeah it does sixteen bit up to twenty four bit ninety six k which is the limitations of USB level well sorry it being a class two device my mistake so yeah any more than that you'll need drivers I think to get to like twenty four hundred ninety two um or the SD devices but yeah this has no drivers so it's super super simple plug in and play and yeah, first time you use it, turn your volume down to zero and then gradually move it up to suit your earphones or headphones. It doesn't support a microphone input. So like some so if you got some sort of earphones have um inline mic, that doesn't support that, just to bear in mind, because it's the same connector. And yeah, good little good little amp deck, I recommend it. It works flawlessly on my Windows 7 laptop and it should work fine with Windows 10 as well. So yeah, recommended from me and yeah, good for your, good for your laptop users. So yeah guys, I'll be back soon with another video. Catch you later.